or too greasy and movie. I'm sure that's the word. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a random makeup, beauty tools, a hair care thing haul for you guys today. So I grabbed all these things on Amazon. Um, and I just thought I would kind of show you what I've picked up recently. Just do kind of an old school beauty haul. Yeah, so let's get to it. So the super fun thing about this is that I'm gonna be doing Amazon Lives. I'm really excited about it. It's kind of a new adventure. Um, of course, I'm not going anywhere on YouTube or Instagram. I'm still gonna be doing all those things, but just kind of adding on the Amazon Live thing, and I think it'll just be fun. Right now, I'm kind of thinking I'll do like get ready with me type videos where I'm just sort of playing with makeup on camera with you guys, kind of like I do in YouTube videos, but just in a live format where you get to see it like start to finish and we're just kind of hanging out. You can chat with me during the lives, which is so fun. So I will put my link down below so you can follow me and know when I'm gonna go live, but I'm, I'm really excited about it. So tons of beauty things are sold on Amazon. I mean, you know, Amazon, I mean, home things, fashion things, pet things, I mean, lots of things, all the things it seems like are there and lots of beauty items that I already own and love. So I'll be using those items for sure. But then I also wanted to kind of, you know, pick up some favorites for sure. Some of these things in here I already owned and loved and just wanted to grab new ones. But I also kind of wanted to dig around and see what else was out there. And I plan on continuing to do that. Just kind of looking and trying new things while still using old favorites. Cause that's kind of, how I like to do things. I mean, that's sort of how I've always done YouTube is some old favorites and then also trying out new things. So definitely follow me there. So that's kind of what this haul is all about. So let's get to it. So an old favorite that I thought wasn't around anymore. I found this on Amazon and I was so excited about it. The Garnier Fructi Style Texture Tees Dry Touch Finishing Spray. This is one of my favorite texture sprays I've ever tried. It's super affordable. I think it came in a pack of three for around like 11, like 10 to $12, somewhere in there. It's super affordable. It smells good. It gives great texture to the hair. I love this stuff. So I was so excited when I was just looking up, cause I love Garnier, a lot of Garnier products, like my favorite hairspray. So I was looking that up and that's how I found this. So. It's awesome. So these were actually birthday gifts from my sweet sister and brother-in-law. They had asked for some birthday ideas. So they got these for me and they were from Amazon. So this is the Real Techniques Everyday Eye Essentials, eight must have eye brushes. I love the look of Real Techniques brushes. I think they're beautiful. They're great quality and really affordable. So great price point, great quality, and they're pretty. So I like that about it. So yeah, the Everyday Essential, Everyday Eye Essential Set. And then this is the Everyday Essentials. So it's got, um, what all is in here? A blush brush, two times miracle com complexion sponge. I love their sponge. So I don't use sponges as much as brushes, but when I do, theirs is one of my favorites and I think it's so affordable. Honestly, I think I, think I would say it is my favorite because I like the shape of it and the squishiness and just how it works, it's good. So you get two of those. Um, you get a deluxe crease brush right there, a setting brush, and an expert face brush. So yeah, again, they're so cute and they're such good quality. Talk about just an amazing affordable concealer. Maybelline Fit Me. This is literally under $5 or right around $5 on Amazon. And I love this concealer. So I got it in Fair and light. So fair kind of more for my under eyes and then light for more of my face. But this is just good coverage, a good texture to it. I feel like Maybelline, they know how to do concealers. Just the texture of them. They're creamy without being too dry or too greasy and movie. I'm sure that's the word. You know what I mean. It's the perfect sort of a texture where it's just creamy and feels nice and looks nice and is forgiving. So yeah, grab two of those in the two different colors. Another favorite, the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in Black is Black. This is one of my favorite affordable mascaras. It, 
I would say mainly gives great volume, but it just in a nutshell gives you really vavoom looking lashes, really intense, which is what I'm going for with mascara. I mean, I want it to look as close to false lashes without wearing false lashes as possible. And I feel like this one is great for giving that intense look and lots of volume. And again, it's super affordable and it's cute. More cute packaging. I'm sure I've tried this at some point, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Again, this is crazy affordable. I think around five, six dollars and just has great reviews. I mean, it's supposed to be really, really good, long wearing, lots of people really like this foundation. So I thought I would give it a try or retry it. I'm sure I've tried it at some point in time over the years. This is shade 125 Nude Beige. Um, it looks a little bit deep in the packaging, but when I put it like on my jawline to try it out, it looked like it was gonna work well. So yeah, that's the color I got. 125 Nude Beige. I love these L'Oreal blushes, the True Match Super Blendable blushes. I have several shades already. Baby Blossom is the most beautiful, sweet, fresh looking, glowy pink. It is just stunning on the skin. I love it. I love the texture of it. Um, I have a couple others too, and I'm drawing a blank on what they're called. But this shade that I got is W34 Barely Blushing. And I thought this would be a good blush bronzer, just really neutral sort of a color. It just seemed that way. So yeah, I'm excited about that. But the texture of these blushes, it's just, it's like buttery almost. It just blends so beautifully onto the skin. They're easy to work with and they have a really good price point, especially on Amazon. So I was kind of looking through a lot of setting powders, translucent powders, just powders. And I came across this, the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder, and I got the shade Light. Um, and it said it was supposed to be a hydrating sort of a powder. So I was really curious about it. So I ordered this and I will definitely be trying this out. This is what it looks like. I just kind of like peeled over half so I could get a little bit of product out. Um, but I like the, especially for under eyes, I like the word hydrating. I want smoothing, I want hydrating, because I feel like that's the most flattering sort of look, especially under the eyes. I don't necessarily want tons of glow and hydration on the rest of my face, but especially on my under eyes and even kind of right here, just pretty much anywhere I have texture or fine lines. I want it to be smooth and not drying. So I'm gonna try this out. Then some palettes. So I was looking through at lots of different palettes and this brand, You Can Be, had a ton of reviews, a lot of different palettes. Seems like people really like their palettes, so I don't think I've tried a palette from them in the past. I can't remember, I'm not really sure. But this one, My Honey, looked really cute. Look at this packaging. Oh my goodness, that looks gorgeous. And the colors inside here, this looks like just the most beautiful mustardy, golden, neutral sort of a palette. It just totally drew me in. Let's do some quick swatches. See what these look like. Those look beautiful. Look at that one. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Ooh, those look really nice. So yeah, my honey. And then this one is the Lemon Drop palette. This one looks bright. Look at this packaging, bright really bright and the colors inside look bright <laughs> so fun so let me swatch a couple of these this yellow right here really drew me in what is this what is this oh okay i'm very intrigued slash confused this is like just loose little balls but they kind of become color Huh, this is interesting. I'm getting shadow all over me. This is really, oh, what is that? Oh, I have shadow all over my shirt. Whoopsie, but there it is right there. Okay, so seems like kind of a, almost becomes like a gel sort of a texture to it. Oh, I have shadow. That's why it was getting on my shirt. I swatched way too heavily with that one. 
So these are kind of neon-y sort of colors. That's fun. That's fun and different. But that one is really odd. I would say just put a shadow there would be my vote. <laughs> this one had really great reviews. This is the Eben New York, Eben New York Secret of Pharaoh pressed pigment palette and the colors in here looked just beautiful. So kind of a overall neutral sort of a palette. Look how pretty this is. Oh my goodness. So perfect everyday sort of a palette. Let me just quickly swatch a few of them. Nice and pigmented. Wow. So yeah, I am probably most excited to play with this one because these are the kind of colors that I would wear most often for sure. Okay guys, so those are some of the goodies that I have hauled recently. So definitely follow me um, on Amazon Live. So I will link that down below just to join me in this fun little journey. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this haul. Give it a thumbs up if you did, please. Let me know down below what you've been hauling recently. What are some of your favorite things that you like to purchase on Amazon? I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.